Hello everyone and welcome back to Weapon Rant. Today we got the Archmage's Daughter and well let's get right into the rant. So basically um, I'm gonna talk about how good it was at the start and then how bad it got as it went on. So the Archmage's Daughter is about this kid and she's with she's she lives with her aunt you know typical bad aunt and you know she's treated horribly like they think she's stupid they trap her in a room they beat her etc she's abused and she's you know she's called stupid and it, it's really 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 bad and she's called an embarrassment and it's it's pretty bad and then uh, because of an incident she decides that she wants to go to her father because her father exists however apparently he lives on that scary house in the north so he, she goes over on her own, this little tiny little child goes over on her own to find her dad because she was sick of being abused. And she found out that her dad is a very cool guy and the house is open to her no matter what. And the fact is that, you know, this is a home and she can live here no matter what and it's pretty nice. And it's it kind of all flowers from there. This awesome dad guy beats at the crap out of everyone who, who ever touches her. She's a, he's a really overprotective dad. In Korea, we call that a paturbo. And he essentially just protects his little girl no matter what. It's really cute to see. He fights literally the emperor, the king of the entire place for his daughter. And he fights, he fights the bad guys. He fights everyone who ever tries to harm her. And we find out that he's one of the heightened ones, or one of the strongest beings in this universe. And because the king was afraid of the, these, like, overpowered beings, such as the Archmage, he decided to put, put some kind of oath. He got an oath from them so that they couldn't touch them. And basically, that oath is dependent on him not staying with her, and that, that was kind of the rule. That was, like, that was the contract of him of him, you know, being safe because it's like she's kind of like the 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 good, I guess, the threatening piece, the chess piece that the emperor controls so that he can't will dare to attack the emperor. Um but ironically because of that separation, he got mad and when she came back, he finally decided, "Yeah, I'm going to fuck with the emperor now." And yeah, that was really cool and that happened in the first first like 50 60 70 chapters just pretty awesome and i really really liked it it was fine like you know it wasn't anything super special but it was still pretty well executed it was well paced there was some nice little conflict bits a little bit of mystery and uh, not a lot of world building but i thought that was cool as well and the fight scenes were pretty cool and all in all it made you feel all soft and cuddly inside because it's just about this overprotective dad um protecting his daughter and I understand that, right? And then, um, yeah, it got a lot worse. Back then, it was a B tier, which is actually pretty good for this genre, because usually, um, authors on of this genre just depend on literally nothing, just cute, cute girl, cute little girl. I'm done, like, and and a lot of satisfying battle sequences where overpowered dad beats up everyone bad. But, oh, that rhyme does cool. But, I mean, they didn't overuse it. They had little bits of it, and they used that cliche well. Until literally no conflict happened for, like, 50 chapters. Literally, nothing happens. We just have a slice of life with this little girl and her overprotective dad. And that will be fine, because, you know, like, oh, there's like, oh, it's so healing, it's so nice, it's so fun. But the thing is, even if it's slice of life mode or that phase, we need some kind of conflict. She get lot, she gets lost in the woods will be a cliche one, but at least it would have created some kind of conflict. But no, we get zero conflict. The only conflict that we get is that these two boys, one is is like his his um apprentice, his magic apprentice, and the other his name is Bellarophon, and the other guy is like some some kid that lives on his premises that's like a fox boy question mark and um they it's about them kind of fighting over her because they both like her and the dad not liking them liking her because she's he's overprotective and and no no it's kind of weird because she's fucking she's she's so young she's this bit like you know she's not even 15 yet and it's weird number one but also number two 
That's the only conflict that happens for 50 chapters in every single chapter. Oh, they she, they got too close to her. Oh, um, they're fighting each other for her love, and she has no idea because she's oblivious and she's a kid, so that's fair. And we repeat that for ever. There's no conflict. Nothing. Nothing. Like, we used to have fun arcs, like her going to develop her character and rescue a unicorn from, from the palace. I'm not going to explain that. And, like, the dad risking his life. To, to go against the emperor for her and that was cool right at the very least that impacted my heart but now it's kind of turned into shit like the only thing that i see happening is this guy being overprotective and it was that except now there's no conflict there's no stakes i i, I can't get in, invested into the story anymore and i don't even feel the healing aspects of the story because Nothing happens. <laughs> it's just boring. There's a difference between boring and healing. Like, there are really, really good webtoons out there, and anime out there, and books out there, that where the conflict is toned down, much like this one, except we still are interested, we're still invested, there's character development going on, there's something going on, but the only thing going on in here is nothing. So that's why I will give this a D tier, right alongside... Don't throw me away because ah uh, Jesus Christ it's 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 kind of bad. So you know if you have too much time on your hands again, or if you want some good old slice of not slice of life like healing, you want to feel protected or um your attention seeking or you didn't have parents, then I would highly recommend this webtoon. Yeah, and again like the front bit was actually quite good. It it's just it kind of turns to shit as as it goes on. So. That, that's my review on it. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. That was Webtoon Rant. Um, yeah, bye.